All right, rods are cut. Make sure they are all nice and very clean. You don't want any of those shavings getting in the bearings. They will absolutely destroy them. So, go ahead and put the rod of the hole. Grab your carriage. Come on. Put your next locking collar on before you forget. Rods installed. Carriage can move back and forth freely. That's perfect. Save for the other one. Um, before we put this carriage in, I'm actually going to install the stepper motor into it. Just to make it easier. And you know what? Before we even put the motor on, we're going to pull this pulley off because we're going to be replacing um, the belt, like I said. These pulleys are two teeth bigger than the original ones. So if you're doing this swap exactly like I am, you're going to have to um, recalibrate your steppers. Install your motor. All right, stepper motor installed. All right, rods are installed. Carriages move very nice and freely. Very happy with that. All right, time to move on to the X axis. So yeah, I'm gonna measure up my rods. I'm not sure what the dimensions are, so I'm gonna figure that out, trim my rods, and then we'll go from there. All right, got the carriages installed. Moves very nicely. Next up, we need to install our plate and then install the extruder.